and we could get from that either P and Q or not P and not Q and here's the form we do it in since we're doing we're trying to truth tree is the point is to get down to atomic sentences we would go like this we would go P and Q and just go ahead and name them and we would go not P and not Q because it would have to be those two possibilities and we would say uh, biconditional decomposition and we would name the line we got it from the negated biconditional decomposition is a little stranger but you'll get used to it once you get used to it the negated biconditional decomposition rule is not the case parenthesis if and only if P then Q turns into P and not Q or not P and Q so they have to be opposite, whichever it is. Those are the two possibilities, and it has to be one or the other to make the sentence true. So and then we would come over here, of course, and say uh, negated by conditional decomposition. Negated by conditional decomposition. Okay, those are the truth tree rules. Now uh, we're going to do four more rules and they are the predicate truth tree rules which we'll use a little later but get them down now why not universal decomposition now these are the predicate predicate truth tree rules first we have universal decomposition write that down and it's an upside down a decomposition universal decomposition if uh, we have a universal claim on X with the predicate pre P, then we can say P parenthesis A X, A over X or A dash X slash X. Okay, so that's a universal decomposition. And, you know, that's fine if that doesn't make any sense because it's not supposed to right now you're just getting the rules down these are our truth tree rules these are for predicate truth trees which will come later now the negated universal uh, decomposition so this is the rule negated universal decomposition and if we have a negated universal we can turn it into an existential qualifier it says there's at least one of something in the universe not P in other words this says it is not the case that every X P and therefore it means there's at least one thing in the universe such that not P and then we do our negated universal decomposition and we name the line it came from there we go. Okay, going back over to the existential decomposition. This is the existential decomposition. And in this we have if e to the x p then p a over x small a over x in parentheses okay and that's our existential decomposition rule then our negative neg negated existential decomposition rule negated existential decomposition goes like this if we have a case where it is not the case the e to the x p then we can say every x in the universe is such that non p 
and that is the negated existential decomposition. So those are our predicate truth tree rules. And there's a couple more that go even deeper, but we aren't going to use those at all, I don't anticipate. If we do, we will have to learn them when we come to them. So that's all the rule videos uh, for now. We can now do truth trees with what we have in our pocket. However, there are some more derivation rules that we're going to have to learn eventually, which I you know, didn't find on the third page here. Yeah, more rules. But we'll get those later when we come to the point where we need them. Because we've already got plenty of rules for you to gaze at, and I don't want to blow your crow.